Hello everybody, I'm going to ReZero Director's Cut Episode 8 Anime Review. Sorry we're a few days late, but hey, there's no there's no reason to lose your head over it. Lose... Lo, lose your head... It, it, it's, a, it's a pun. The episode. Uh, also, yeah, just checking. Uh, still hurts. This episode still hurts. Four years later, three years later, wherever we are. Still... Still hurts me just as bad. Right in the heart. So, yeah. Not a, I mean, it was a good episode. I really like, I mean, this arc for me is where ReZero gets really, really good. And it gets really, really dark too. A little bit disturbing. A little bit disturbing. Quite disturbing. A lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of bad stuff goes down quite quick. Um, anyhow, anywho, geez, it's hard for me to say. Let's get on with the episode, just because, we're, as always, we're going to be here a while, because they're hour-long episodes, that's just what happens. Let's get into this. We open up with Subaru sword fighting with Wilhelm. He's he's d giving it a go. That's all we can say. Uh, also, Julius turns out he was just like playing the villain to sort of help out Subaru because things would have gone worse if he hadn't done what he'd done. Uh, Felix says at this point. Reinhard shows up and apologizes to Subaru and says it was meaningless and everything. Subaru doesn't take this too well. He's polite to Reinhard, but then behind his back he's just like, "Shove off, man! Stop, stop bothering me." He's like a moody teenager, which. In a way, that's kind of what Subaru is, but most teenagers are moody because, you know, they're not allowed to go out and do drugs or something. Subaru's a bit moody because, well, he's been through some things and he, he doesn't feel like he's been getting, getting his just, just, uh, just whatever's. Then Wilhelm KOs him as well. Uh, Rems then tells him, hey, I stayed with you because I wanted to, not because I was ordered to, because, remember, remember guys, she's, kind of, she's sort of best girl, you know, you can't really, uh, can't argue that. Uh, the next day, Rem and Subaru, they go out to the app the Apple shop man's there. Uh, they go, there's some posters. He criticizes Amelia and Subaru has a go at him. Uh, and then basically Subaru learns everyone hates her and is scared of her because she looks like the, the witch. Which, which witch, haha, <laughs> very, very funny me. Uh, you know, that's, it's not, that's not cool. Subaru knows that's not cool, but everyone else is just like, yeah, whatever. Uh, a bit later on, Crush invites Subaru to have a drink with her. They do a little bit of that. Uh, there's proposals coming in, so Subaru's like, what proposals? Can't let Amelia be doing none of that. Felix shows up, and then basically, in short, they say, stop being a pathetic little mess, Subaru, and go and apologize and make up with Amelia. Uh, and then he's like, they're like, yeah, I think it's something that, that you can do to help. And then Subaru's like, I got it, something that only I can do. And it's like, Subaru, you've learned nothing. You have, you have literally... You've made no progress, and that is, for this whole, we'll say first half of this episode, is just Subaru has learned nothing. Uh, which, to be fair, it's like, he's framing it like it's a character realisation, he's like, oh, this is my goal, but actually, it's the complete wrong thing, and he's, he's, ma he's making a mistake. Anyway, on to the next section. The next day, Subaru's still at his training, and he's got more vigour and energy and everything, and he's like, hey... He like thinks he's like, I can make any problem go away because of my powers, basically. And Wilhelm's just like, it's pointless to keep training you because, you know, you, you don't want to get stronger. And it's like, oof. Wilhelm, they can all see through him. Like, I mean, we can all see through him as well, old Subaru. Uh, then Rem comes and says, like, something has happened at the mansion. Okay. Uh, Subaru still thinks he's like, I have to go, only I can help her. Crush basically puts puts everything into, you know, she's pretty frank with him, she's like, if you leave, contract is null and void, we don't have to heal you anymore. Felix says, hey, no, you can't do anything, nothing's going to change if you leave or if you stay, so you should stay and get healed up properly. Uh, and Subaru, Subaru doesn't take it too well, he's like, I thought you were, you were nice, but no, you're, you're just like the rest of them, I hate you. Urgh, grumpy teenager, Subaru. Uh, and then, yeah, it's going to take longer to get back there because there's some fog, white whale. That'll come into play at some point. Subaru keeps thinking, hey, I'll s in the in the, the car. The, the carriage is like, I'll save her. She'll understand then everything will go back to normal. Sort of like the first two, how everything went back to normal after Subaru saved the day. So he's sort of thinking it'll just be the same. It'll be a typical isekai adventure. No, no, Subaru. Uh, at a rest stop. Rem comes to his room, then they have a little talk. Rem gives him a hug and fixes his gate up. 
and then he falls asleep, basically. So I wonder if that, you know, while they're talking, Subaru fell asleep, just fell asleep. There was no, no, no drugs. It was, it was perfectly natural, I promise. The next morning he wakes up alone, Rem has already left, she took the carriage and so Subaru, you know, he's out of luck a little bit. Subaru is a bit mad, he gets a ride from a guy called Otto, who I guess he paid him a lot of stuff to essentially take him in. Subaru is basically sulking in the carriage, he's like, well, even Rem doesn't think I'm very good. I'll show you, I'm Subaru. Uh, their dragon refuses to go any further, Subaru heads out on his own, uh, makes it back to the village. Uh, took him a while to notice that everyone was dead. I don't know if that's just him thinking like, if I don't look at it, it won't be there. Like, it's not, it's not real, it's not happening. You know, he's subconsciously avoiding looking at it. But then he notices and he, he freaks out. Uh, and then he gets to the mansion and he, ah, oh, it, it hurts, man. Finds Rem, she's stabbed through the head in one shot, but then the beginning of the next episode, the sword's not there anymore, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, but yeah, finds Rem's body. It's... I remember when I first watched this, this whole this whole part blew my mind. I was like, oh my god, they're killing everyone. Because they're like, basically it's like, yes, yeah, Subaru can't die. But that doesn't mean nobody can die. No, no one's safe. Like, and that's... God, yeah, imagine seeing all your friends die over and over again. That's... I don't want to imagine that. Subaru is a... Is, well, he's not a braver soul than me. That's the whole point. But, uh... Yeah, he... Oh, I forgot to mention also, when Subaru was on his way to the village, a bunch of robed figures appear, and then they, like, bowed and then left. Forgot to mention that. One who they could be. We'll find out in a, in a little bit. Uh, well, Subaru, in, in the, the, the shed which Rem was, I guess, guarding with her life, that's where the children were, and they're, they're not alive either. And it's... Yeah, it's really... Uh, I don't know what to say. It's very... Oh, cause it's kids and it's like that's bad, you know. That you shouldn't don't don't kill kids. I, I mean it's effective. This whole sequence of events is very effective in making us go, oh, oh no. You remember at the beginning where Subaru was like, Isakai, yeah. Now he's just like, crap, I want to go. Home. Well, he doesn't even want to go. He just wants everything to be all right, which is, oh, uh, yeah. Subaru lumbers through the mansion after this, finds finds Ram and Petra. Petra's the little girl, Ram is Ram, they're, they're dead too, it's, it's, it's not good. In fact, the, where was Roswell? I think he's like away on business or something, right? Which is, why would you do that now, Roswell? <laughs> like, you know, you've just, you've just announced Amelia, who is a half-elf, is going to be one of the, one of the royal things. Why would you choose now to leave? I know it's probably not something you have control over, but damn it, Roswell, is all I'm saying, you fool. Uh, unless he's fine. We don't actually see him. Subaru finds Amelia's flower, and then uh, finds a frozen hallway, which is so cold that he just freezes and then cracks apart, and then he dies. Rip Subaru. Uh, so, I guess the only person that might be alive is Biko? We didn't see her, did we? She's still chilling in the library. Is the library safe? Why don't they just hold up in the library? That's safe, right? Does it's irrelevant at this point because everyone died, including Subaru. But you know what that means. Subaru for Subaru, death is not the end. Su death is merely the beginning. He wakes up at the upper stool with Rem, and it's first. I was like, oh god, is it the beginning? I say at first. First time I watched this. Uh, I was like, oh god, is it the very beginning? No, it's not. It wakes up, Rem gives her a big old hug, and he's laughing and smiling like a, a bit of an insane person, which, again, just saw all his friends and everyone he knew and some children he was friendly with all dead. And that's... I mean, I don't, I don't want to ever be in that position, like, to be honest. I couldn't imagine it. I know it's, it's just anime, but damn, Subaru, you know, damn. Is all I'm going to say. Uh, Rem can smell the witch is bad. Phelis can't help him. He's just laying in bed like, this is my life. This is what's happened. Uh, they are going to head back to the mansion to try and help him. When Crush asks, hey, why are you doing all this for Subaru? She says Subaru is special. Which is like when 
Subaru said Amelia is special. It's because she likes him. Aww. She's best girl. I mean, after this episode... Well, after the next... I can't, oh man. This episode hurt. This whole... La this middle... <coughs> oh, God. I'm not choked up, I promise. Uh, but yeah, no, they... Rem's like, I know you'll bounce back, Subaru, because you're a wonderful person. It's like, ah. But I, on the inside, I'm like, I know what's coming up. I've seen this before. This is gonna hurt. And it did hurt. So they get jumped by some more robed figures. Uh, they're called the Witch's Cult. The Witch's Cult. Witch Cultists. Witch's Cult. Witch's Cultists. Uh, words like that. Rem recognizes it. They're the same ones that attacked Rem's village way back in the day. Uh, they kidnap Subaru while Rem fights a few, and she's like, "I'm gonna wreck you for for stealing my my Subaru." So let's 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 have at you, which is cult. Subaru Subaru's having a way worse time though. Let's let's be honest. Subaru wakes up chained to the wall when then he meets a creepy guy called Betelgeuse Romani Conti, or just Betelgeuse, or that guy. He's the the sin of sloth archbishop, sin of sloth, and everything. Ask Subaru of his pride. Which, I guess Subaru w was summoned to be one of them, but he's not. Still not too sure on that one. Uh, and then he beats a guy for not knowing if Rem is dead or not, because that is simply slothful. Which, I really like Betelgeuse as a villain. Like, he is absolute insane. Proper, like, I see him and I do, like, shiver a little bit. I'm like, ugh, you know. I've, I've, I've had it drilled into me what you're like. And it's not, it's not good. Uh, send some guys after... Rem because she could interfere with their day of reckoning. I forgot what they actually called it. Uh, but basically, their big old big old plan day. And uh, he asks Subaru why he has the witch's scent and the gospel. And more importantly, why do you pretend to be mad? He's like, you're, you're insulting actual crazy people. And then he gives him some tips. He's like, you wouldn't care about people's gazes if you were actually insane. They're basically saying, stop being an attention seeker, Subaru. Is essentially what he's doing. Uh, which, I don't know if I agree with, Subaru seemed pretty not sane. Uh, I think Betelgeuse is just so far off the deep end that, to him, Subaru probably does look like he's pretending. Uh, which is, you know, not good. Rem shows up. Subaru says his, uh, not Subaru, Betelgeuse does the old, you are truly slothful line and that again. Rem shows up and there's a bit of a fight, uh, and then she gets strung up by, she just gets... Like, sort of like crucified, but it's, it's pretty bad. And then, uh, so she's dead, and then all her, her limbs all turn, including her head. And it's it's really off-putting in a disturbing and really effective way. And it's like, oh, I love you, Rem. Why? Why her? Why can't you do this to someone I don't like? Like, no, I wouldn't wish that on anyone, actually. I don't want anyone to take that. Not even Julius. That's, that's how, that's how, you know, oof. Uh, and then Betelgeuse starts saying, hey, Subaru, you killed her because of your sloth and all that. This is your fault. But I'm sure it's just what he wants to hear. But this, Subaru finally, I guess, reacts. He's pissed off and he keeps shouting. He's like, I'm going to kill you. And it's like, Subaru, I get what you're saying, but you're not going to do anything. Like, I'm not criticizing this scene because anger, he is angry. And that's why he's just like, I'm going to kill you. You know, you've been, you've been young once and you're like, I'm going to kill you, you know, when you're angry. Ugh. But there, they, they leave and keep him chained up. Rem slowly crawls towards him. Not even crawls, shuffles towards him. With all her limbs broken. It, with the last of her strength, she destroys the chains. And then she's like, love you. And I'm like, is that a tear? No, that's not a tear. That's, it's not a tear, okay? It's like, it, it hurt. Despite knowing it was covered up. Hurt a lot. Hurt, still hurt me right there. Right in the field hearts. Uh, but yeah, then Subaru picks up her body, which looks to be in a lot better shape after Subaru picks it up. I guess he did some work. I'm trying to be funny here, but it, this whole scene is just... Uh, it's, it's, it's a struggle. I'm trying to make jokes. There's not a lot of them. Subaru get, heads out to the, to the village. It starts snowing, which is... We're not having... Mem remember memory snow? Remember how light-hearted that was? That was only a few weeks ago. That was literally two... two what? Yeah, two weeks ago. That's... Boy, things went bad pretty quick. Uh, obviously, everyone's dead again. Ram's dead. And then, uh... 
And then, then uh, he's angry, so he's shouting Betelgeuse's name. We see a giant cat-shaped figure causing a blizzard. I wonder who that could be. It's Puck. Uh, and then he, he freezes Subaru, and Subaru's head felt rolls off. And then the, uh, the song plays Requiem of Silence. It's a great song. Over the credits. And, uh, the, yeah, the credits are... It's really, like, that whole credit sequence is just, like, damn. You know, the whole way it's done. I know it's just literally just, like, a still with some blizzard. Well, I think Subaru's body does get progressively more covered in blizzard, which is, yeah. But, uh, when I've done, though, after the credits, Subaru wakes up at the Appa stand again, and he's he's back to normal. Well, normal. Uh, and he, he starts holding Rem's hand, and he's being all nice to her and everything. But that's because he's fueled by anger. He's uh, He has a target now. He knows who's to blame, and it's bloody Betelgeuse. He's pissed, and he's going to come for Metal Goose and have him with his minimal fighting skills. So, yeah, let's, good luck with that, Subaru. But hey, at least he's going to try and do something now. Uh, but yeah, that was the end of this week's episode. As I said, very, uh, very off in a good way. It was off in a good way. It's like, it hit you. It hit you hard. And, uh, so you better, you better, like, be prepared. It, uh, it's, for me, this is where I, I knew I was always going to remember ReZero when I watched it the first time. It was literally the first episode, no, it was this, 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 this two. It's like, and it was the two episodes? Well, no. It's when I started thinking, yeah, you know what, Ren probably is best girl, you know? Uh, obviously we've got stuff coming up in future episodes with Ren because she's alive again now, that's good. Uh, so yeah. That's, that's to be excitement. That's to be excitement. That's exactly what I meant to say. Uh, phew, I can't actually remember what next week's episode is. I remember the weeks after. Next week? Don't remember it. So, that should be... I mean, I've got, I've got a rough idea what's going to happen. And, uh... Oh, my voice is going to do this again, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff for more reviews. I'll see you next week. I will try and get it out for Wednesday next week like I normally do. See you then, guys, and bye, guys.